Hi and welcome. This is Eric and today I'll show you guys how to import data file to SQL. So this is the continuation from the previous video and um, um, if you watch the previous video we did import um, a CSV files which is employees.csv to SQL database and this is the file. If I open new query and since I imported to test DB, I can use test DB and say select all from employees. So that's nice. So uh, on this video, I'll continue to um, import the second file, which is going to be sorry. So I'm just going to open Saris here and I'll show what it looks like. So we see it has employee number, salary, from date, and to date. And this time I'll do a little bit slightly different. So I'll go a little bit faster because I've shown another in the previous video. And if you don't remember or you'd like to review, just please preview the previous video. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on my database where I would like to uh, import my CSV files and then I'll go ahead and uh, <clears throat> go to tasks I'll go to import data okay I'll get a wizard I'll go next and then our source gonna be uh, flat file that's gonna be our source we know that for sure flat file source we're gonna browse to choose the location and if you don't see files don't worry about it just go ahead and change the file type to csv we'll be importing salary i'm gonna click open and now um don't change anything but i would like you to focus on this text qualifier right now it's uh, none if you take a look again at file, it doesn't have any text qualifier. If it does, you will see some kind of quotation marks or double quotation marks surrounded um, on these objects here, or these columns, values. But we don't have that, so don't change anything yet. But uh, you can go ahead and click next and make sure you see your data properly. Uh, you see the column names, you see your data without any quotation marks. That means you're good and uh, column delimiter shows comma separated file. So this is going to be comma. Don't change anything yet. Click next. Our destination is going to be a native SQL server. And then our server name should come by default. If it doesn't, you're going to have to put your server name, which is going to be given to your uh, your computer name and then um, if you don't know how to do that you can watch my video my previous video or um, the video I created before how to identify the computer name um, and the next thing is the database we are importing everything to test DB so you can choose the database you like and I'll go next so over here we see we do have a source which is going to be from this location here and then we do have a destination here we can change now remember the first approach we imported everything and then we want to rename the database this time we're going to rename everything mm. right here and then i'll click next um and uh, say so yeah, I'll run immediately. You can go ahead and uh, edit mappings or preview the data. You can see that these are the columns. That's the data. Or you can go ahead and click edit mappings. And over here, um, you see the source. You cannot change the source. This, uh, um, these columns come from the, from the text file from um, this file. These are the columns. You cannot change the source. All we can change is the destination right here 
so I can go ahead here and change instead of waiting to import all the data and change later I can go ahead and change now uh, and remember we were working on a, a Pascal case so um, again if you don't know what a Pascal case is please uh, watch the previous video so I'm gonna go back here I'm going to change this to from date and then this is to date and I can go ahead and change this to date here I know this from date and to date is a date and uh, I can double check you can see these are dates and then um, so I'm going to change it to money right here and then employee number I just leave as it is but I'm gonna change the length to 20 and I'll click OK everything looks good I just click next and I'll see um, everything as it is go next and next and then you're gonna get a nice summary and click finish you should get everything successful that's good you have just a warning you can just ignore i'm just gonna close it go back to my database refresh and see what tables i have i see i'm sorry i can also preview my data type here and column names looks all looks good i can right click again on it and select top thousand rows and i can see my data here it has been converted to money data type with two decimal places that looks good so i'm just gonna go ahead and, and import the third file and i'm gonna go really quick so it'll be less talking more work i'm gonna import titles table and uh let me edit and see so if you can take a look at what i was talking about text qualifier we see double quotation mark surrounded so this file is slightly different from this one here. You can tell these columns don't have double quotation mark, but these titles does have quotation mark. How do we do that? Watch this. So I'm gonna go back, do the same thing, right click, go to tasks, and then go to import data. Um, the import export wizard will pop up i click next my data source as you can guess already it's flat file i'll choose um i'll change this um, file type to csv and then i'll click on the titles i'll click open and you see a text qualifier it's none so go ahead and put double quotation mark, that's it. And you can see my data is well aligned, really good, no quotation mark. So let's go back and change it back. I just wanna show you what data gonna look like. You see that? I'm gonna leave as none, and let's see. You see where, how the data looks like? You're gonna see with this quotation mark, and that's not good. If you see a data like this, stop and go back and fix that and by fixing just put quotation mark and you'll be good to go okay so always preview your data inspector that you see now it's really good and clear you can just go ahead and click next we know that this nation is going to be native and then i'm not going to change anything so that you see i'm not going to touch anything i'll see my mappings and i'll see my titles i'm just going to show you guys how again you can change this is going to be my last page the summary i'm just going to go ahead and click finish you'll see everything has been executed successful uh, we do have about 443,000 rows okay so i'm going to go back here refresh and then from here i'm going to see my tables i just go ahead and uh, rename this so i'm just going to first go ahead and rename so I'm just gonna capitalize my table name and then I'll go to design. This is another way you import everything and then you change the columns 
of column names at the table level. This is from date and this is to date. And then we have um, data type which will be date. End date, it's easier to type for me. Uh, title, I'm just gonna reverse this, but let's be consistent with our employee name. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click save. I'm gonna get this warning, just say yes. And then, bada boom, bada bam, the file's been saved. If we run our query, select one from title. We should see our data it's properly aligned so i'm gonna go ahead and um, import the next few if you think you're good at it you can pause this video and try to import the rest yourself next file source we change the data type now i'm gonna be doing less talking we don't have departments. I'll go ahead and click open. But before, let's go ahead and print the departments, how it looks like. Oh, we don't need uh, that text qualifier. We don't need to change anything over here. So if you're just going to go yet, I'm going to look good. I'm going to go next, next. And then over here on the destination, it reminded me, hey, you have to choose the destination if it's just going to be sql server native everything going to be the same i'm going to click next 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 and finish to be successful nine rows and i see we do have at least nine rows on our departments the first row is our department columns so i can come back here and rename my department table if you don't see it please refresh your data so i'm just gonna go to first rename the department table then go to design right click go to design this is gonna be department number and again i don't like to shorten the word or abbreviations i just like to put everything as it is so um, as again if you preview department number we have about five characters so I'm just gonna change it to 10 and department name I'm just gonna leave as it is I have two more files to do that I'm just gonna go ahead and do it real quick and you can pause the video anytime next flat file source choose the file change the data type to see everything you're going to be department employees and now let's preview the data real quick oh again our text qualifier gonna be none well you know so i'm just gonna leave as it is i'll see everything looks good next next again you have to choose the destination next next i can just finish from here and boom everything works fine i'm just gonna go ahead and refresh look at my table rename my table so i'm just gonna rename i'm, I'm not gonna calculate department employees i'm gonna go ahead and go to design this will be employee number and i don't like spaces i'm just following that pascal case this will be 20 this will be department number which we did uh, VACA 10 
we do a from date and we do have to date both of these will be date data type date data type I'm just gonna go ahead and save I'll get this warning I'll say okay and then I'm just gonna go ahead and import the last file here next file browse change the file type and this will be department manager and let's preview the data first how it looks like oh the text qualifier gonna be none that's good news we can come here and go next we're gonna have to choose the destination which is gonna be SQL Server native client we're gonna go ahead next 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 and finish bada boom bada boom 24 rows and you can double check here how many rows you have it's about 24 it's 25 because at the first row is the column name so i can go ahead and click ok refresh and then look at my tables and i'm gonna go ahead and change or uh, rename the department now but if you don't know how to rename there are two ways there is another video how to rename and i'll put in the description below so i don't remember the name here it was department manager so i can just go ahead and uh, rename and this will be department manage and then I go to design and rename my columns so this is the department number which we decide to be 10 uh, employee number we said it was supposed to be 20 and then date it's always date and this is gonna be date again if I'm going so fast you can pause the video and the name your columns from date to date I'm gonna save and that's how we do it that's how we import files from a CSV to SQL now we have learned about our CSV but we can import the file from the Excel from database from other database like Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, we just have to connect and sometimes we need a username and password. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Eric and again I would like to wish you a good day. Thank you for thanks for watching. Bye.